So um, I thank you all and good luck. Oh, that was a nice video. I guess it's time to start coding now. Coding tutorials are available for just about any topic in computer science, whether it be for math, coding, or projects, or web development, there will be a coding tutorial that will show you step by step cookie cutter how to do it. And I'm sure that you've watched one or two of them. But when you closed out the coding tutorial and tried to do it yourself, you just sat there not knowing what to do and lost. My name is Bradley Allen and in this video, I'm going to go over why you should stop watching coding tutorials and start actively learning from them. So let's get into the video. The first thing I want to go over is the difference between watching a video and actively learning from a video. These are two separate things. When you actively learn, it engages your mind as a student to learn by thinking, start discussing about the thing, and try to find out what's what's going on here, what's being taught, and then creating it yourself. That's active learning. You know, like if you're in a classroom, you're actively learning if the teacher gets you to do stuff and participate. Now, if you're watching, this is different. This is just looking at something or observing it and like using your eyes. Okay, you're not there's not a lot of thinking because you can watch a Netflix show and turn off your brain and just sit there and not learn anything, just relax. And like that's that's watching. So, the next time we have a coding tutorial up and running, we need to be active learning rather than watching because I know like if you're watching a lecture, you doze off and go to sleep, but if you're actively learning, you'll be interested and be able to take more out of that video that you watched and be able to improve as a programmer. And I want you to improve to the best programmer you are. Using coding tutorials as a tool to improve yourself rather than using it as a crutch to be able to program is such a tremendous change in a programmer. And it was for me. And I want you, I want to share with you guys. How does one start to actively learn? When watching a tutorial, I want you to pause first, then code. Watch it a little bit, whatever. Pause it. Start coding yourself and see how far you can get. This will allow you as the programmer to creatively learn and grow and try to figure things out yourself because this is what makes you a problem solver. Not knowing and finding out how to do it is what will help you improve tremendously. After you do it yourself and say you get stuck and you don't know what to do or you get, you, you're just stuck, that is when you use the coding tutorial, press play and find out what this guy or girl did in the tutorial and, you know, fill in the knowledge gaps that you had in your brain. Okay. That pausing will allow you to find out what knowledge gaps you have. And we use this video to fill that knowledge gap. And this is how we improve so much and I, I want you guys to understand this because using coding tutorials you can get in the loop of you just watch and watch and watch and you you know you're following along while the video is playing like oh what did he do press pause and you're, you're you're trying to follow character by character but that is not going to help you in the long run doing this will start to show you what your mind is thinking about when there's no video around okay when you're when you're by yourself figuring out how to code or whatever this will show you your flaws to be able to know about the flaws is the first thing we can do to fix the flaws. So guys, on to the next thing. So after you finish a coding tutorial, right after, okay, do this. You want to close out the YouTube tutorial or tutorial whatever and do it yourself with nothing around, okay? This will allow you to connect the dots of what you have just learned. Whether it just be the main topic, say you just pull up a coding thing or whatever, whatever that main main topic of that video was, code it yourself or try to remember it yourself. And directly after watching that video, you will solidify that knowledge. And it helped me remember in the past when I was using coding tutorials. Doing this just helped me improve so much because I was using, I wanted to do projects myself and improve and actively learn and like, you know, actually know what I'm doing and doing this allowed me to do that in a more efficient way. I wasn't always going to coding tutorials. If you start a video right after finishing another one, you're not going to allow your brain to ingest and, and, and actually learn the information that you just learned. So you're ready to stop watching co coding tutorials. You feel like I don't need this stuff. I can, I can do it myself. Okay. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do, what helped me, what I did. 
Okay, I, I don't use pro, uh, coding tutorials as much. Sure, I might be watching YouTube and like, oh man, this guy's making a cool thing, but I'm not going to actively go out of my way to figure out and watch a cookie cutter coding tutorial. So, what you're going to want to do, start your project by yourself and don't allow yourself to watch any videos regarding that topic. Okay, now you're coding, whatever, you get stuck, you, you don't know what to do. Oh my goodness. Oh, what you do now, open up Google. Don't allow your stuff to use videos. Videos, they're far and few between on the problem that you need. Search up that problem that you're having or what to do or how to do it or like oh, something not working. Search it up on Google. Google will list similar problems and similar things about the thing, the problem that you're having. Okay. And you use those similar projects that people are having and working on to solve the problem that you have currently. This is what makes you as a programmer the programmer and not using the YouTube videos as a crutch. Doing this will allow your intuition to improve and figure out, oh, something's not wrong. You'll figure out what to search up. Oh, I've seen this problem before. I'm searching up on Google. Oh, it might be this type of problem. It might be a shell or kernel problem or this and this. And you then you figure out and improve from there. And this, guys, you will see improvements slowly but surely. And this will improve you tremendously rather than on the other hand, say something gets updated from when the tutorial released or something's wrong and it's not working on your machine. You know, if you just been following step by step, you're not going to know how to like fix something that's so personalized problem to you. I want you to be able to solve these problems. I want you to be able to code and do and program all by yourself and like know this stuff. And in the past, I was one of those guys who would just watch coding tutorials over and over and over and I don't want you to do what I did okay I, I learned from my mistakes and I'm trying to help y'all on what I did to fix this coding tutorials and Google are such great tools you will never know everything about what you're coding or what you're doing but using these things as tools is so good rather than using them as a replacement for you as a programmer the problem comes when you rely on these tools to get the job done. You should only rely on yourself and your mind to be able to solve these things and these these Google, YouTube, you know, Stack Overflow, those are tools that you use to fix the problem. And once you get this mindset, I'm telling you guys, you will improve tremendously and in all you'll just learn more efficient. This video is just some advice I would give to my friend or my younger self in the past when I was trying to overcome this issue. So if you got some value out of it, like the video, comment down below some tips that you have with coding tutorials or some problems, and subscribe. And I will see y'all guys in the next one. Peace.